Coach, your team continues to respond. It happened last time, happened tonight. A loss tonight. It's tough. What's your message to them after the game? Yeah, I mean, a, a heck of a fight in the fourth quarter. Really proud of their effort. And, uh, you know, under man, we really fought out there. Uh, and that's something to, uh, to, to commend. Um, and I think it's just being consistent. I think even with a shorter amount of players, being consistent through an entire basketball game, just little runs and little slides sort of put us back. And we've kind of fought back a few times, but it's hard to keep doing that uh, all the way to the end. So a good effort overall, but just need a little bit more consistently through the game. Derek's numbers with Arizona were something like seven and eight. Um, two, another monster double-double. I mean, crazy rebounds. Is he finding success here because of opportunity, or is he fitting a system different? Uh, I think it's both. I think it's uh, twofold, maybe even threefold. I think, one, he's, he's no Chris Boucher, so he's playing a lot of minutes, you know, more than he was playing previously. Uh, two, I think we've sort of created an uh, environment for him where he can showcase his skills as a, as a roller and a rebounder. And third, I think there's a nurturing environment for him. I think we really uh, try and care about our players in terms of how does each player, wherever you are in our rotation, get better each day and we want them all tracking forward and he's absolutely doing that he's he's played tremendous basketball for the last four basketball games and excited to see what he does when we come back from the break yeah, and going to that break. Other than rest, what are your priorities with these guys? Just a mental reset. You know, NBA seasons and G League seasons are long, right? So a chance just to sort of decompress and, and, and turn the brain off for just a day or two. Uh, keep the bodies running. You know, don't turn the bodies off completely, but but just a chance to rest your minds because uh, we need a, as, men, as much mental power uh, into our last few games and hopefully into the playoffs as we can muster. All right, thanks, Coach. Uh, it seemed like guys were getting fr more and more frustrated throughout the game with the officiating, and I'm sure there were a number of close calls that you would contest, but there were a couple that I wanted to ask you about. There was, they weren't even calls themselves. They were administrating, administering free throws to the wrong team, um, wrongly calling a timeout when the other team had the ball, and a loose ball foul when the ball hit the shot clock as well. Are these at all troubling to you in terms of perhaps an, offic an official's mindset going into the game? I mean, listen, I think this is a development league for all of us, for the players, for the coaches, for the officials, for the, the training staff. And all of us are trying to learn and get better. And I think they'll review the film the same way we review film. And, and people make mistakes at certain points. I'm not sure if those ones that you mentioned were or not. Um, I don't know if I get fined in the G League, but I'm not sure. Um, but uh, I think everyone's trying to improve at all times, right? And I think the, the overall, the officials we have here are great officials. Um, and uh, sometimes they make mistakes. Uh, Josh Adams, he fought through a number of uh, calls. He, he was glaring at the officials himself. Uh, can you tell me about his uh, resilience and continuing to go to the basket despite not getting those foul calls early on. He seemed extra frustrated today before continuing on. Yeah, I mean, a super tenacious athlete, right? He, uh, he, uh, he doesn't sort of take no for an answer, and, and he likes to really attack into the paint. That's what his strong suit is. And I think he, you know, he, he definitely did a good job of drawing contact and getting to the rim, and that's one of the, the main parts of our offense. Um, I think as they do that and they start to bring four or five guys, then it turns into ball moving and kickouts and finding the next great pass. Um, and that's sort of a learning process for him and for the rest of the team also. Uh, but, you, you know, you can't knock his fight and his hustle, and he's, he's always going to give you 100%. And you said you wouldn't necessarily expect Malcolm Miller to go off for 30. He went off for 24 in, uh, in his typical way, uh, just smooth outside shots. Um, defensively, also defended well in the post. How do you think uh, he felt? Uh, how, how, how did he assess uh, his game after, after tonight? His first, only seventh game back still, kind of, but his biggest performance so far. Yeah, I think uh, I think he would be sort of I think thoughtful of sort of the fact that he's still coming back and he's not all the way there yet. Uh, but he did some new things today that he hasn't been able to do, do in the last week or so of, of being healthy and active. Uh, so I think that's a good step for him. He, he you know he's he's on a, a path to getting better and getting back to sort of ultimate performance. And I think he took a step in that direction. Uh, specifically, his drives to the hoop. He was able to penetrate to the hoop with sort of without fear, without sort of any sense of, of what could go wrong, and attack to finish. And that's that's a really good sign for him. Coach, I was wondering. Uh, I noticed. Uh, Josh Howard, or Jordan Howard and uh, Josh Adams play together a lot, like a dual point guard lineup. I was wondering if you could go through your thought process on that. Were you looking maybe to go small against them, or was it possibly like some deficiency in uh, on-ball creation on the wing? Yeah, I think today more so was just find as many guys I, as I could out there. With only eight, I tried any combination I could. Uh, and But those both of those players are playing well together, and that seems to be a nice little matchup. And, and the two of those guards with DC has, has been a good pairing as well. Uh, so just trying, you know, as, as a coach, you're trying to find the right matchups. And through the game, you try different sort of uh, options. Today, we probably tried 50 or 60 different permutations of lineups uh, in a game like that. Um, but, but, I, but I would agree that those two specifically have sort of found a bit, a bit of chemistry. And I think, uh, I think Josh Adams and uh, Jordan Lloyd, when he returns also, also have a good combination. So the two Jordans and Josh are pretty good, uh, pretty good group out there.